G'day everyone and welcome to another Automatons test. Today I want to go through and launch up all of my old now working drones in the new AI update. Not using any of the newer blocks, still using that old existing remote block, but I wanted to show you the problems I came across, how I went and fixed them, as well as much much more, so I'm sure you'll want to be sticking around to the very end, as I'm sure at the very end I'll be launching up one with the AI basic and the AI flight just to see if I can test the waters on what the next episode will be so stick around till then with this patrol drone you'll notice that it just goes up to the actual patrol drone GPS which is all hidden goes to one two three and four comes back to the approach and then we'll go straight back down no problems I have found at all with this patrol drone as you can see if we fly on over here it did have that green box, as well as these two minefield drones, which I'll trigger up next. So, I have them both set up, and they're quite different. I'll trigger this one up, and then I'll go to the minefield collector and explain why I have two, etc, etc. So, I didn't have any problems with this one, as long as it doesn't have any chance to collide with anything. So, you have that precision mode off for the fact that it doesn't give any, ad any added extra precision in terms of it hitting any of those GPS's. Um, I find just leaving it off will cause less problems than if it was actually on. As you can see it has no problems going to each of those four GPS's, coming back to the actual dock and it will dock straight up. Now that those mines are out in the world I can get onto something a little more difficult and I've had to turn off the collision avoidance entirely on this drone for the fact that the game, as of the new update, I'll trigger this up, doesn't quite like having separate grids on the bottom of it. As it sees those grids, it should try to avoid when that collision avoidance is on. So it's much easier having that collision avoidance off on this drone. As it usually does, it just uses the exact same GPS's used by that minefield drone we just triggered off. Comes on down with parachutes, has no problem, locks up. GG game over drops on over into the actual grinder pit over there Getting on to the next one as promised You'll notice in this it has been triggered up and I'll go into the remote control that was used to trigger it All of the GPS's that you set has all gone Why is that keen? I have no idea So this time we have the exact same triggers minus one mine for the fact that this only carries three but it is on the cycle mode, the circle flight mode. Let's trigger this up, and now it won't actually delete them. It will stay where they are. I should have actually waited for a second to get that done. Unless he can get it done faster. There we go, perfect. Hopefully the mine doesn't fall on its head too fast. But as you can see, it has no problems with it going out in the world, just like the previous drone. This should just have no problems, just continuing on with its flight. Flipping that over, continuing on, probably triggered that up a little bit too fast, but that is fine for me. Patrol drone, still going along its way, no problems there either. Goes over, locks back in with this mine drone. Let's go into that remote block, since we just triggered it. And since it's on the circle mode, all of these have still retained what I've set up in them. And the reason for that is because it's on the circle flight mode. And when it gets back, when it gets back to the secure dock, I've actually got it to turn off the autopilot of that remote control so it can't continue on with its circle program. Moving on to an actual final broken drone from the original update. As you see over there, it had a red block. I've now fixed it all up and let's trigger this up. Can't wait to add more event blocks and all that sort of jazz to speed this thing up. As currently it uses this timer here for two minutes to realize that it's actually got a full cargo container before continuing on. So once it locks up, with no issues at all. I've had to turn the collision avoidance off and the precision mode off on this one as well. It's just much easier, much more stable, and we'll just fly on back. It has no issues. Now, getting on to something a little more difficult, and this one does use that 1200 meter sensor range extender. As you can see, it all has maximum range of 1200, so I can go 
1200, perfect mundo, but let's just take it back to what it was originally. Same thing, I've had to turn off the collision avoidance and the precision mode, but this goes up to the one GPS it uses and then just continuously follows me. On the new player follow drone is absolutely insane. All I had to do was just add an event controller, put that AI targeting for the player follow and GG easy. Getting onto the vanilla side of it, the targeting characters of this turret controller and the AI does not work. Let's trigger it up and I'll show you why it doesn't work for the fact that I'm not sure why this old vanilla turret controller no longer targets characters or players, but I'm sure Keen Software House will get onto this sort of problem as soon as they know it, or as soon as they know how to fix it. Now, the most difficult I have come across has been this unknown signal retrieval drone for the fact that it does connect close to the surface of the planet by connecting onto that unknown signal. So let's trigger this up and follow it over to an unknown signal I have set up over there. It's just a manual one as they are broken. Stick around, I'll be releasing a video on how to make sure they are released in your world if they aren't already. Because I find if you delete the unknown signals GPS in your GPS menu here, they no longer show up or it could be a problem on the actual Space Engineers game side. But as we see, it just gets up to this high approach from the original version from this drone and goes on over to that manual unknown signal. I'll see you when we get there. All right, here we are actually getting close to the unknown signal. I've just had to speed it up and then slow the remote block down just so I can get there a little faster. But once I triggered this drone up, I now had it to start a collision avoidance timer to start for 15 seconds and then turn on that collision avoidance on. So if I go into the remote access of this drone right now, we'll see that the collision avoidance is on. The problem I had was it connecting to the unknown signal with that being off. So this is just a completely vanilla uh, sensor looking for friendly small ships, which is classified under the unknown signal. So if I go back to this unknown, this remote block, you'll see that the collision avoidance get turned off when it gets close, just like so, allowing it to connect up and continue on with its journey. With that high GPS at your base above its dock is much easier and much stable than what you would have with a low GPS with the new version, which I may have to revert back to, but if this video gets 100 likes, I will release this save world to the general public as well as everything in it apart from my drone printer. I'm sorry guys, but that is an absolute precious baby of mine that I don't think I'll ever release. It's very easy to make your own and I'm sure you can do that very quite simply. All right, here we are coming on back to that S original high. That's about 200 meters above the surface of the planet and above the dock itself. It'll come on down nice and speedy fast at that 20 meters, drop everything off and start that gyro as normal. Now, watching that coming on down, let's trigger up the next one as this uses the new AI basic and the new AI flight blocks as you need the flight no matter what sort of AI function you're having. And this function, I've got the AI basic that uses those original GPSs. So if I go to the basic, uses those original GPSs exactly the same as that original unknown signal drone, which is coming down as we speak. Here we go, drops it on off, flies up to the connector no matter what orientation it's in, turns on an overridden gyro back in the day, starts that timer to make sure it has enough time to connect onto the magnetism of the connector and then docks up. But getting back to this new block, which is a little hint for the next episode, make sure you like, subscribe and all that jazz, as yes, I am a solo editor, gamer and YouTuber. So getting into this AI basic, same exact GPS's as the original one, but we'll notice a few differences. I do still have the remote control on this for the fact that if you have no remote blocks and I will go over here and disconnect this one, this doesn't have a remote block whatsoever. There's none, okay? Let's go into the remote access and I can't control it. So if it's a drone, 
I need to then put a control seat on it to then move this drone around and place any of the recording block markers you need to do in the world. So I hope they fix that or add that feature in the future. But moving back to this one for the last time before I trigger it up, and in fact, I will trigger it up right now because it does take, oh, I quickly need to put the right go on it and I shall trigger that up. With this new AI basic that it uses, it still is taking the middle of the grid as its block. It needs to hit that GPS to work. Same as the last one, as it doesn't use the remote block as it did in the old version. Not sure why that is, but you'll also notice this will get about halfway to the GPS in a really slow manner, about five or six meters per second. And then at about halfway, it'll then speed up to what you've set that AI flight block to. Once we get over to the actual unknown signal, it then locks up as normal, does the exact same functions as that last drone. So I won't bore you with any more of that. Last of all, we have our attack drones. Before the actual update came out, they just circle one GPS within the actual safe range that you can place with your player and these just will circle within turret range and do some serious damage. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good jazz. Stay sharp till next time. See ya.